what's going on guys welcome to the shop welcome back to the shop what are we doing today we have a rough and tough in the shop today with a bad speed controller so today we're going to show you how to replace it and not only that we're going to show you how to upgrade it to an all tracks so if you're interested in that you got a rough and tough you want to upgrade to an all tracks it's really simple stay tuned we're going to show you how uh, how it's done let's grab it in the shop or bring it in the shop and get to it today we got in a rough and tough it's a 2005 model with a bad controller I've already taking it out show you this thing here it is fried and boy does it smell it let out that black blue smoke that you can't put back in it anyways today we're going to show you how to change the controller and we're also going to upgrade to an all tracks all right it's not plug and play it's a little wiring involved so we're going to take you through the process it's actually really simple on this cart and uh let's get started we've already got some of the work done i've got the old controller out and i've mounted the all tracks to the plate and we're getting it wired up here on the bench and we'll go over how we got it wired up all right so we're over on the bench we got the all tracks mounted to the mountain plate with the solenoids these are all your connections on your series controller this is a 48 volt 500 amp um, this orange wire is your reverse wire on the blue port. We're bringing it up to the reverse solenoid and we're putting it on the positive side of the small lead. And we'll show you where those hook on the carts harness. All right, we've got the enable pin, which is red, coming up to the positive side of the main contactor. We'll show you what's up there on the carts harness. And then we've got a negative wire for the ground going back behind here to the negative uh, post on the controller. Anyways, that's pretty simple there. Um, and then we'll hook our throttle up here on these two posts, J6 and J4, or J4 and J5, sorry. And I'll show you those over on the cart. So let's hop over there, show you that wiring, and then we're gonna throw it in, hook it up, and then do a quick overview from there. All right, we're over here on the cart, on the main harness here. And this is the main plug that plugged into the old controller. And we're going to splice into this. I'm actually just going to cut it off. We're going to splice into this to get our throttle. So these two green wires right here, if you look at them, they're uh, green with a brown stripe on both of them. Those are our two throttle wires. All right, they're plugged into this wire here that's coming out of the throttle. It comes up to the controller. So those are the two that we're going to send to J5 and J6 on the all tracks. This pink one is an enable pin. Uh, it comes off the, the main solenoid wire, which is the pink wire. And then we've got the brown wire, which is the forward wire. And then the gray wire, which is the reverse wire going to the reverse contactor. So it's really simple. All we gotta do is cut this plug off and then we're gonna hook these two to the throttle. We've already got everything else we need. We don't need this pink wire we don't need this green wire it's just going up to nothing so let's get it cut off and wired up and i'll show you what it looks like oh and i forgot to mention i just cut off the plug i forgot to mention that this is a ground so we'll need to extend that and run that to be negative all right guys real quick before we go any farther just want to show you uh the small wiring here coming off the harness so we cut the end off like we said and we've got uh the pink going to Positive on the main solenoid, of course negative. And always remember that the white stripe goes to the positive side of the solenoid. Um, anyways, these are our two throttle wires. We put a splice on those. They'll go down and plug in on the side of the controller. I uh, should have plugged those in first before I mounted it. It's hard to get to, but we'll get down to it. Anyways, orange wires, our reverse wire we showed over on the bench going to the positive on the reversing contactor. And then we got the gray wire going back here to the uh, forward contactor and it looks like I forgot the ground. I need to get that back on. It fell off before I tightened it down. But anyways, that's the low voltage stuff and uh, we'll get the high current stuff hooked up and bring you back and show you all that. Oh, and one thing I would recommend, I would recommend wiring all this stuff up before you mount this down because it is hard to get to. I had to get the forklift under it and so I could get to some of the connections in the back. But anyways, that is one tip I'll give you. Wire it up before you mount it, then mount it in place. All right, we got everything hooked up, wired up. Time to give it a test. 
Got the key on. That's the turn signal. Put it forward. Here it goes. Oh yeah. We got a runner. That easy. Not too bad. Throttle's backwards. You can hear it getting faster. I gotta go in and program that out. Sweet, we got a runner. So real quick here, these two wires are your series wires coming off your motor. This A2 goes back to the armature A2. And then the A1 is down here on B positive on the controller. So that's your high current lines, how they're connected. All right guys, let's take a little break from the video. Um, I realized that I did not explain the high current wiring that well in the video when I recorded it, but I've got the all track schematic up on the screen right now. So let's go over it and I'll kind of explain to you uh, how the high current wiring is on these solenoids and on the controller. All right, so what we got up on the screen um, is kind of a diagram that I've put together, kind of explaining the high current wiring on the cart. Um, essentially, it's identical to the stock wiring, other than the fact that we removed the jumper wire from A2 off the solenoids down to the controller, because the new Alltrax controller doesn't have that post anymore. All it has is an M negative, a B plus, and a B negative post. I'm not going to go into detail on how these forward and reverse contactors work. We'll save that one for another video. But anyways, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an illustration about how it's wired up. Quick how-to on how to program the throttle. So we've got our Alltrax toolkit up. It's free software from their website. We've got the USB plugged into the controller, and we see the controllers online. Go up here to throttle settings. And I'm going to reverse this. Actually, it's an ITS, so we're going to go to ITS. Oops, not glove guard. ITS. I keep in glove guard. There we go. And then we're going to hit set. Wait for it to finish down here. Setting throttle settings to controller. Throttle settings set to controller. All right, let's try it now. See what happens. Put it off. Back on. Forward. Slow to the fast, forward, down reverse, and we go half speed and reverse, we got the orange wire hooked up, all good. like that we are back to riding and having a good time on the rough and tough again if you like the video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing for more content and we'll catch you on the next one